getting high with no friends around. Believe me when we're lying. Convince myself to um, drink bottled water with my 10 crunch bars for breakfast. Y'all, this has officially become a fitness channel. Subscribe for more. Okay, so let's dial it back to reality. This is by no means a fitness channel. This is, in fact, a Dollar Tree haul channel. And on occasion, I'll throw in some DIYs and some gift giving ideas, gift baskets, giveaways, and things of that sort, and a little bit of decor. So um, with that being said, let's talk about giveaways. So I had a um, basket that I put together that was centered around Mickey Mouse, and it's up here on your screen. And um, I was hosting a contest for that. So if you joined that contest, um, today I'm going to be doing a drawing and that's going to occur later in this video. So stay tuned for that. If you entered the Mickey Mouse gift basket giveaway contest. Okay. Um, so today's haul centers around, uh, mother's day ideas, some DIY, some kind of like crafting ideas and also, you know, ideas for gift giving, but everything is kind of I don't know, centered around the color hot pink or fuchsia or like a magenta because that's the color of a lot of the items that I picked up. And as of late, I've either been like um, kind of doing themes around my Dollar Tree hauls or, uh, you know, so I'm picking up items that are in a, a similar theme or like color coding my Dollar Tree hauls. So with that being said, let's get started because that's a long intro. So we're gonna start off with Mother's Day finds. So they had a display as soon as I walked in the store of all kind of little gifts for our lovely moms, right? So I found this loofah. What I love about it is um, that it's very stretchy. Look at this guys, when you pull on these little handles that it has here, um, the loofah stretches out and so it's great for reaching those hard to reach spots like your back so you could basically you know sling it over this shoulder grab the handle um, the other end of the loofah and then you know get to scrubbing your back it came in a variety of colors I don't think I took pictures of the other colors but I picked up this one because I love the blush pink and since I was trying to do like a lot of pink stuff uh, for this haul, um, this was a winner. But again, you've got these two little uh, braided um, ropes at the end of it. Look at the stretch that it has. And it is um, by April Bath and Shower. So it is a Dollar Tree brand product. So um, you should be able to find it at your stores. Okay, another item that I picked up in the pink color family is this notepad. Now this has 52 sheets in it, guys. And um, what I like about it is that it has like a little, um, what would you call it? Like a little sleeve, uh, like a little extra little piece of paper so that you can tuck it into the pockets of like binders or folders. This is a perfect size to throw into your backpack, to throw into your purse. You know, it's not big, it's just big enough for you to write your notes. And it says, God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. And this is Psalms 46.5. I love the beautiful print, the florals, of course. And I love that the lettering is in metallic and it shines like it has like a gold shine to it. Hopefully the camera is picking up on that. But a really pretty print and it's really good for, you know, gift giving, especially uh, for Mother's Day, you know, for Easter. Well, Easter is bypassed at this point. But also, you know, like if you're a part of a church group, this would be a really lovely gift to buy. And at $1.25, it's a really good deal. Okay, now I found an alternative notepad, but this one is magnetic. So um, it comes with a small magnet here on the back and um, you can attach this to your refrigerator. Um, if you work in an office and you have those metal file cabinets, it can also go there. Um, lockers, that's another area you can put it in. And it says, just be yourself, again, with this beautiful blush pink color. I'm gonna try to get an up close on this. 
so you can see the font style and the color of the letters and it has like this little polka dot grid print um, which serves as lines and so you know you can make your grocery list here um, jot down some little notes these are great for care packages because they're lightweight and because it comes with a magnet on the back when the notepad is done you can remove the magnet and you can use it for crafting or to use in another area so it's by the brand jot 60 pages so again another in-store dollar tree brand that means you should be able to find it in your stores um allegedly allegedly okay guys so i'm staying in line right now or the theme of um stationery so this was also something that i picked up in the mother's day display so it was a large display um in the very center of the entry of the store okay does that make sense okay so as soon as you walk in basically i found these now it came in a variety of patterns I may or may not have taken photos of that. If I did, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. If it doesn't pop up on the screen, that means I didn't take pictures, but it does come in other varieties. So what this is are, um, it's like a little fold up little pocket of sticky notes. How cute is this? Okay, so it says that, doesn't say anything, um, but basically you're getting like a notepad here with this polka dot design the beautiful light pink pages that are lined here. And then you get an array of sticky notes. Now, this is great for moms who, you know, maybe they're multitasking. Maybe your mom is heavily um, involved in, um, I don't know, where would it be? Maybe in church or, you know, she works in an office or maybe, um, you know, you wanna give your coworkers, your coworkers that are mothers, um, a gift and they work in an office and this is something that is going to be really useful for them so um, a really great gift it's great to pick up just for yourself um, if you work in an office um, or in an office like setting like I do this is something I would definitely use um, I use sticky notes like on a daily basis anytime I'm in the office and if they're pretty well i like them all the more so a really cute little gift at a dollar 25 i think this is a really great pickup what i also see is that when the um i would assume when you're you're done with all using up the notepads i'm wondering if for you crafty people out here if you could repurpose the uh, the little folder that it comes in and it does have right here what looks like Velcro, so it Velcros shut. So you may be able to repurpose it and use it for something else. Um, you guys are really creative and I'm sure you can come up with something. Um, it, nothing is occurring to me right now other than maybe like a sticker album for kids or something like that, but I'm sure there's some other ideas or junk journaling for those of you who do that kind of stuff. Okay, so now check out this beauty. Um, these I found by the registers. So, um, you know, they're they may be um, somewhere else in your store. You know, there's kind of no consistency with Dollar Tree, but this is an in-store brand jot, so you should be able to pick it up at your store. It's journal, 60 sheets, five by seven, and it's got a gorgeous, look at that, look at that beautiful marble print, but I like the colors that are shown here in the marble. How pretty is that? Look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, I kind of zonked out for a minute, I like zoned out. But um, it's got a marble look to it. Maybe it'll show up here better in the back. Yeah, it's showing up here better. They're like uh, pastels, you know, purples and pinks. It gives me very 80s vibes, like the color scheme. Um, but I like it because it's, you know, it's, it's marble. It's got that metallic lettering. Um, I love the colors that they chose and I think it would make for a really cute, you know, little pick, it, pick up or also um, for yourself if you like to you know journal right now um great for you know care packages great for gift sets really pretty and then i found this beauty here now this one i picked up in the party supply section um obviously with it being a gift bag um it says here birthday magic and then you have those beautiful scales and so you know what i think of of course is a mermaid how pretty is that? It's funny how mermaids come to mind and not fish, or at least for myself. On the side, the scales are continued and they are continued on the back. Now the front of it has that beautiful metallic or almost like what they call oil slick iridescent letters. And um, the inside of the bag 
also has a little bit of that print bottom being pink and the handles are in this really pretty hot pink color and so if you have anybody that's going to be um uh, throwing a birthday party your child's um going to be having a birthday here really soon they're into that whole mermaid kind of look and you're going to be giving a uh, or throwing a party that's in that theme this bag would be perfect for that type of occasion Okay, that sounds like a TV here in the background. One of my sons has opened the, the door to their room. And now they're going down the stairs. I don't know if that's, if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. Okay, so also, also in the display for the mom gifts were these cute little books. So there was several different varieties to choose from. I picked up this one. This one to me was the most appealing, or at least to myself. Let's see if you can see it up close. Um, all the different pretty flowers. And then the word mom, but in metallic. And it says, share this special gift book with mom. It features a unique collection of inspirational and celebratory quotes all about her. And the quotes are coming from um, well-known people, whether it be actors, authors, uh, people that are in the public and that you would probably know. For example, one of them is Stevie Wonder. So just to give you an idea. So when you open up the book, this is what the inside looks like. Let's look at it together. Let's see if you can write something. Yeah, a gift for, and then from. So there's lines here, you can write mom's name and then who it's from. And then you have this page here if you wanna write, you know, a little extra something special for mom. And then inside you have all these beautiful pages with quotes about mom. Look how pretty this is, this is gorgeous. Um, are you planning to put together, you know, a little gift set for mom, uh, maybe in throwing it inside a gift bag, maybe inside of a gift basket, this would make a great addition. $1.25 is a really good deal. Um, and it kind of almost doubles up as a gift card. Um, and I think that's something that moms would like to hang on to. Okay, so now let's talk about gift baskets since I brought that up. Um, this is one of a trio of colors that they came out with as of recently. Um, I believe I have the photos of the other two colors, which are like in jewel tones. There's like a sapphire blue and then this beautiful like aquamarine color. And then they have this beautiful like hot pink fuchsia like color. And um, I picked it up just because I, I love the vibrancy of the color. And this happens to be my mom's favorite color. So if I decide to build her a gift set, I would probably use something like this as a base. Um, for that gift set because she loves this color so much. Also, you know, it, it's great for storage. You know, if you have, you know, a daughter and um, you're trying to get her room organized, maybe she's got some shelves in there, you know, whether it be crayons, markers, you know, doll clothes, um, puzzles. I, there's so many things that you can put inside of these. And because they're so pretty, um, it's a great way to, you know, hide stuff, but organize at the same time maybe just maybe you're redoing your pantry and you love the color pink why would you have to or who says that you have to use only clear containers and only white containers why can't you use your favorite color my favorite color happens to be navy blue and my pantry is organized with containers that are in the color navy blue now there are some clear containers in there so you can see the um what's inside of them but the vast majority of the containers and baskets in there are in navy blue. So I think that this is a great idea as well. You know, if you want a little bit of pop of color in your life. Okay, so still um, staying with the fuchsia or the hot pink. Look at this. This is, y'all, this is so, so super cute. Look how cute this is. Okay, so it's a what they're calling a animal watering can. And it is by Splash and Swim. It's for 18 months and up. And it came, I want to say, in three different animal styles. So if you're not digging the whole elephant, which I can't imagine why, this is this is darling, adorable. How cute. Okay, they have other options for you. And I'm going to display those on the screen now so you can check those out. And all I can picture is that you have, you know, your little kids and you're out there in the lawn, in your yard, gardening maybe, watering your flowers. You can get the kiddos to help you out with watering. This is, oh my God, I, I cannot get past how adorable this is. I almost want to keep it for myself. I have absolutely no 
purpose for this like what would i do with it i'm like in my 40s what am i going to do with this but it's just so cute and i wanted to make sure that y'all are aware that this is in the store and it is a dollar tree it's coming out of their um warehouse so you guys should be getting it to your stores as well okay so earlier er, 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 earlier earlier i mentioned um the bag with that mermaid like look to it um how cute is this this matches that whole vibe and it is it's called crystal waters hand soap it is cherry blossom scented you are getting 10 fluid ounces and the bottle is in the shape of a mermaid's tail so i just took this little thing off right here look how pretty that is not that gorgeous now it did come in other colors i want to say purple was the other color i don't remember the scent um let me see if i can smell this for you um i got some on my nose um it does have a a cherry blossom scent and if i can smell it then you guys could probably smell it all the more because um my ability uh, to smell has been affected by covid um so everything is kind of like in a muted version of itself but this is also coming out of the oh no this is manufactured for enchanted accessories so you may or may not be able to find it in your store. I'm hopeful that you will. If you are going to be doing a birthday party um, around this theme, this would be a really cute little thing to throw in to your loot bags. Um, and also if your daughter has her own bathroom and she has, you know, likes mermaids, this would be cute to encourage them to wash their hands. Okay, and also you guys already know this. Um, so you should, this is nothing new or uh, exceptional. But um, in case that you, you know, you buy gift cards, not gift cards, greeting cards elsewhere, you know, Dollar Tree does sell greeting cards and they're already putting out the Mother's Day ones and they're still um, two for a dollar, depending on the collection of Hallmark and the other Hallmark ones are a dollar. So there's two, two different Hallmark collections. One is Expressions and I can't remember the name of the other one. So one of them is two for a dollar and the other ones are a dollar. Nonetheless, that's a great deal for a greeting card, especially because it's um, a Hallmark card. So it says, in this busy world of ours where special friends are few, it really is a joy to have as good a friend as you. Happy Mother's Day. So they have a variety, a variety of Mother's Day cards, you know, maybe for your aunt, your grandmother, your friend, and mom, of course, too. Look how pretty this card is. And it's got glitter on it, and I hope that's showing up on camera. Look how cute. Isn't that cute? Yes, and of course, you get your little envelope, and yeah, you can flip it over. It is a Hallmark card. Okay, so let's talk about stickers. Stickers is another very popular thing to pick up at Dollar Tree, and I tell you, there is like no better place to pick up stickers than Dollar Tree. I have looked elsewhere, and I cannot find them cheaper, and that is inclusive of Walmart. So I found these right here. Look how gorgeous these are. And um, the butterfly shapes, these are pop-ups. You are getting, it says seven. This is in the Crafter Square section. You can see the label here. And look how pretty they are, and vibrant too. Um, maybe you can get your kids to help decorate a um, greeting card or make their own greeting cards for, you know, your mom or grandma or your sister, an aunt, maybe a friend of yours is also a mother and you want to have the kids um, craft with you and make a, you know, a custom handmade greeting card. This would be a great place to pick up materials, um, you know, pom-poms, uh, they have sequins and all different stickers and construction paper and all different kind of items that you can use to create your own um, little card. And for those of you that have, you know, like to junk journal, you do, um, I don't know, all, there's different type of crafts that you guys would be able to use this for. Friend mail is another idea. And then they, I also came across these. These I've seen in the past. They have put these out in prior years. Um, but since it has that whole floral kind of look, and if you're considering um, doing a, custom or handmade uh, gift cards or for friends, family, or if you want to get the kids involved, um, they do have these available. And they have like a, a variety of flowers here. You know, you have what looks like roses, carnations. Um, I think that's a peony, but I could be wrong. Either way, you're getting 10 and these are metallic stickers and they are outlined in gold. And as you can see, they reflect light. So something to be on the hunt for. Okay. 
Do you know anyone who is um, engaged? They're about to get married. Okay, and you guys are putting together a wedding and you're looking for little ideas, gift ideas for your wedding attendees or the, um, what do they call it? The, the bridesmaid party, okay? I found this on Pinterest and I'm like, oh my God, I have to share these with you. This is the cutest idea. So I'm gonna put it the idea up on the screen. Um, and this is something y'all, oh my God, are people so creative. I never in a million years would have came up with this idea. And it's like looking at something that is accessible to everyone and you see them all the time and it never even occurs to you that you could use this cute little saying, this cute little pun, and that you could give out little scrungies to your bridesmaids. How adorable is this? So if you're looking for ideas, you're engaged, you know someone who's engaged, um, or you're gonna be uh, attending a wedding or something, you wanna give that person some ideas. So here's a three pack. Um, now they come in a variety of colors. These are like, you know, muted more, um, what would I call these? Kind of like pastel colors. Um, you can always look for scrunchies that go in line with the brides and the groom's color scheme. So I just thought this was the cutest little idea. It's easy to get those little cards printed up um, to attach to your scrunchies, but this is the most adorable idea and you can use scrunchies that you pick up at the Dollar Tree to recreate this whole cute little gift. And so I just wanted to turn you on to it because I was like, oh my God, that is adorable. I wish we'd have thought about it when my sister um, got married a few years ago and we were um, working with a coordinator to put her wedding together and I it never had even occurred to me. So with that being said, let's move on to the next thing, which has no relation to weddings and that is Ziploc bags. Okay, so remember I told you this is a fitness channel, um, but that was a joke, but I saw these and I thought this would be a great way to, you know, if you like to snack or you're trying to be healthy, you're trying to meal prep, and maybe you're trying to eat out less, take your um, lunch to work, then this is a great buy, y'all. It's by Surefresh, which if I'm not mistaken is a Dollar Tree brand, yes it is, and they're little bags. So you're getting 45 little Ziploc style bags, uh, resealable bags. They're, they got a zipper seal, it says, but what I like about them is the size of them. So they're um, rather small. So they're great for like packing, um, you know, what would you put in here? Almonds, look how little they are. And you guys that craft with them, or if you have like, you know, extra glitter left over, extra sequins left over, little buttons and stuff, and you're looking for somewhere to store them for your craft room, this is a great place to store stuff like that. Um, if you're traveling and you're gonna be taking jewelry with you, um, I do this every time that I travel and there's some times that I'm traveling for work and I have to be in what would be like professional looking attire. So I have to have jewelry and all this stuff. So what I do is I wrap my, or I put my jewelry in little Ziploc bags to get, keep necklaces from tangling up, you know, watches, bracelets separate, earrings, all that kind of stuff. And it helps you, you know, to keep that stuff, um, you know, separated. Uh, safe um, and under control so it's not you know flip-flopping all over your bag and of course yes you can put food in that so yeah that's like duh but just something to be on the hunt for you're getting 45 little bags for a dollar 25 I'm pretty sure that's a great deal um, because I tend to always pick up my Ziploc bags or Ziploc style bags at Dollar Tree okay so another Mother's Day find that I came across is this which is a little cosmetic bag this was also on that display it, it comes in a variety of different styles they all had florals but they were different type of florals I did take a picture of that which I'm gonna put on the screen so you guys can see it okay so this one says love and it has these beautiful um, what look like roses I think or a variety of different flowers and then you have this basket weave design here at the bottom they all had this the material is Oh my God, uh, I wish that I could describe it to you. The only thing I could tell you about it is it would be something that you would be able to uh, spill, you know, accidentally spill water on and it wouldn't absorb the water. It would be like, um, you know, water resistant. Um, it reminds me of maybe like what, a, a an umbrella? No, I don't think that's a good description. Well, anyway, it zips, you know, you got your little zipper here. It's by Sassy and Chic. 
and it's a great pickup just because if you need a new makeup bag a new cosmetic bag if you are putting gift sets together you can put makeup in here and um, give this to friends or to mom or throw it in as part of a gift basket which i'm thinking i'm gonna do a gift basket um, for a mother's day giveaway but i will let you know about that because i have three gift sets that i'm putting together right now and i'll announce in my next video that i do i'll announce what the next giveaway is going to be okay so now let's talk about these i have talked about these before but i've gone a couple times to the stores and they've not had them they've had it in other varieties but not this variety and as soon as i discovered these <sighs> I became a new person. I, I feel like they're life changing. And these are Snyder's Butter Snaps. Um, they are these little square shaped uh, pretzels and they taste like butter, y'all. They, they taste identical to butter. It is very difficult, very difficult to not consume the entire contents of this bag. But remember, I showed you these little Ziploc bags, right? to help us control ourselves. So what you could do is you can, you know, put a handful of these or a serving size, which here says 23 pretzels for 110 calories, not bad, but maybe you don't take 23 pretzels, maybe you take 12. So you're, cal you're cutting the amount of calories that you're taking and um, you get to have this delicious snack. These are, these are delicious. If you have not tried these, this is a name brand, Snyder's of Hanover. At the grocery store, I have seen this bag, the same size, same amount of ounces, same weight, same product for like $3 and some change. And this was at Walmart, y'all. So at $1.25, this is a steal. And one of these suckers expired because I did check the date. Um, these don't expire till May 21st, 2022. They will not make it that far. Um, I will probably eat this whole bag um, as soon as I stop filming. But um, something to be on the hunt for. If you've not tried them, y'all pick them up okay so let me put this video on pause real quick i'll be right back because i've got some more super cute stuff to show you and then we're going to be doing our drawing for the mickey mouse gift set be right back guys okay so i'm back all right so a repeat buy another repeat buy but i always show these just in case you're new to dollar tree you're new to dollar tree hauls or maybe you're new to eyelash faux eyelashes i picked up the ioni um glue eyelash glue now, I've seen other YouTubers haul like this or show the display of the new Ioni, like tropical different varieties of eyelashes. I found the display, but it was completely wiped clean of all eyelashes. So I can't find eyelashes, but I can find eyelash glue. And sometimes I go and I find eyelashes, but I can't get a hold of the glue. So when I see it, I pick it up just for the in case. Um, one, because I need to have it on stock so I don't run out. And then number two, the next time I go to Dollar Tree, um, the various ones that I visit, I may come across some eyelashes. This is some really good glue. It lasts all day long. It doesn't rip off your real eyelashes when you remove it, and it's easy to remove with just soap and water. So if you see it, pick it up. It's a great buy, and their eyelashes are really, really awesome. They compare to more expensive brands that you would find, you know, like at your drugstore, Walmart, Ulta. These are some great eyelashes the ioni type okay so now let's talk about we're gonna go back to the display that i was mentioning earlier um, for the mother's day um gifts and i found this which is my absolute favorite flower a peony and i believe this is a peony i'm pretty sure it looks like one yeah um so this came in a variety of colors i did take a photo so i'm gonna put that on the screen so you guys can check that out um and what i like about this is you know, it's of a very, very good quality. It doesn't in person look cheap to me. You know how sometimes you'll go to like a dollar store and the florals look, the fake florals look, they look pretty cheap, okay? This one actually looks really nice. I like the um, variety of leaves or how many leaves are included. And so I thought about, you know, how I saw the little pot. The pot is, you know, a little plastic pot. It's kind of on the cheap looking side. You can always, pick up you know the larger pots um that they sell there and um you know put it inside of a larger one and maybe add a little bit of that spanish moss or that um has a name can't think of it i'll put it up here once i remember what it's called um or you can put it in those um 
what are they called? The terracotta like pots and you know, put it inside of there. And then you could even paint the terracotta pot and maybe, um, you know, stencil on mom's initial, mom, you know, monogram it. You can do um, rub on transfers to decorate the pot to make it look prettier. Um, you can also, you know, maybe add sequins or glitter to, you know, kind of dazzle it up, bling it up. Another idea that I came up with was cutting out a square piece of um, wrapping paper. So this isn't one that I would necessarily go with. It's a red and white houndstooth style print. And we use this during Christmas time. Um, but it was what I had on hand in terms of what it was, you know, easily accessible. So all that I did was to cut a square out. And, you know, like you've probably seen them do it in the grocery stores um, or, you know, wherever you pick up uh, plants, live plants, they usually do this. You'll... Um, Y'all, y'all can't see what I'm doing off screen here. Okay, so what you would do is maybe wrap the um, this paper up like this. You're going to pull it up. And um, then you would put like a string here. So this is, you know, in essence what it would look like. You know, like, and I sh I'm sure you've seen this like at a grocery store um, or a garden center place, Walmart, where they'll wrap like the, um, what do they call, poinsettias you know, up during Christmas time or they'll wrap other type of flowers. And then what I would do is get like either like a jute twine or, you know, whatever kind of string. Here's some um, baker string or ribbon or raffia and you can wrap it up, make a little bow and then it becomes, you know, all the cuter. It, it you know, you're hiding the cheap looking little, y'all, I'm struggling here. Can you tell? The scissors are laying on top of the raffia, but you guys get the idea. So. If, for those of you, because I know sometimes people don't know what raffia is, um, it's basically like this material here. Let's see. Here, I'm going to show it to you. I get the scissors out of the way. Raffia. And you can pick this up at Dollar Tree, and they sell it in a variety of colors. Or again, you know, do twine, um, some kind of ribbon, some kind of string. You tie it, you make a little bow, and it's made this cute little, what looked, you know, cheaper now makes it look cuter, and you can throw it in as part of a gift set. So I just wanted to share that with you. And all I did was use wrapping paper, cut a square. Um, I did measure it out because I wanted to make sure that when I pulled it up, it would wrap nicely um, around this little pot. Um, but, uh, which I, you know, I just eyeballed it all. There was no like measuring tape or anything involved. I just eyeballed it. I said, mm, looks about, let me do it a little bit bigger than what the little pot is and then just drag it up. I mean, there's, it's not, it's not anything too complicated and I'm not very, um, super crafty so if i can do it you guys can do it too so in case that's something you're interested in okay something else i wanted to turn you on to because i thought this was the cutest idea so i came across this idea on um pinterest a lot of these ideas um that i'm showing you if they're not my own which most of the time they're not um i'm finding um you know inspiration on pinterest or maybe in a store or you know just something that i come across so this one is a pinterest one i'm going to put the the original picture on the screen so I was like, this is super cute. This is a super cute way to um, give a gift or to, you know, maybe wrap your kid's lunch in. I thought this was cute. And I'm like, how can I recreate this using Dollar Tree products? Okay, so I recreated my own version of it and this is what it looks like, y'all. Okay, so it's like a little, a little envelope almost and you have the button here and I use Baker's Twine. So all the products that you see here are from Dollar Tree, okay? And it is super easy to do. So um, basically there is a little gift in here that I have. Um, and I thought of how, you know, what kind of gifts could you put in here? Gift cards. This is a cute way to present a gift card. This is a cute way to do like, if it's like a bracelet, earrings, um, you know, something that would be small um, that you could, they would fit this size type bag. You can also do this on a larger scale because they do have gift bags that are larger that don't have handles on them. Dollar Tree does carry them. So you could do this on a larger scale if the gift is larger. Um, imagine putting your kids, you know, a peanut butter sandwich. Maybe you prepare them lunch in the morning and you send them off to school. How exciting. Don't tell them that you're doing it. You just put it in there. As far as they're concerned, it's the same old lunch from uh, every day. And then when they get to school and it's lunchtime and they open up their lunch, 
how excited they would be um, to see, you know, the sandwich in here or the pretzels in here or whatever it is that you want to do. This is a super cute way to present, you know, a gift or a lunch or whatever idea you guys can come up with. So you can use buttons that they sell at Dollar Tree. So these are the ones that I picked up. This is what it looks like. I found these by the register. So all it says is they're buttons. They come in these little cute little jars and the jars are flat at the bottom so they kind of sit like this. There is a variety of buttons. I'll put the picture up here so you can see. There's different sizes, different types, different colors. Um, and it looks just like this. When the little jar is empty, you can repurpose this to store more buttons, glitter, sequins, whatever it is that you want to do with it. Okay, maybe the gift recipient um, is a man and maybe you don't want to do it as, um, you know, I don't know, what would be like termed effeminate, okay? You want it to be a little bit more masculine looking. So what I would do is maybe use like a craft style paper bag and then maybe a jute twine rope or jute rope and then you have these buttons that are darker in color look at this button here is that showing up how cool is that what does it say i don't know but it's cool i can't see it y'all can y'all see it on camera so these are a little bit you know more darker in colors you know grays blacks browns so not as vibrant um you can also do you know art with these you can you know decorate a, um, a photo frame you can decorate you can create art by gluing these I'll put these on the screen of what you can do with buttons in case you're like me and you're like okay button shirt you know that's a, that is as far as my thought process goes so I found these ideas also on Pinterest on what you can do the crafts that you can make with these cute little buttons that they sell at Dollar Tree okay and I also have oh let me show you the treat treat bags that I use so I use the treat bags these come in varieties not just this pattern so you don't like this geometric pattern that's okay these are picked up in the party section or where the party accessories are at i use those for my little bag i use baker's twine um do i have it here in the shot yes i do i have it right here okay so i use the baker's twine to wrap it around and um here's a picture of what the packaging looks like for the baker's twine that's sold in the crafter square section and then of course i use the button which i showed you where i got that from Okay, so I think this is the last item that I'm gonna show you, yes? Yes, last item that I'm gonna show you, and these are sequins. Check these beautiful, vibrant colors out. They came in other varieties, guys, but I picked it up because it's in the family of pinks, which was kind of what I was centering my stuff around. So you're getting six bags. There's six bags, Crafter Square sequins. So I'm like, well, what can you do with sequins? Um, are you great with sewing? Are you handy with, you know, like thread and needle? Okay, so you can do like shirts. You can put these onto pillows and I'll show some images up here on the screen. Um, you can, you know, bling out your phone. Um, I came across this little image here. Now these images are courtesy of Pinterest. Um, you can also glue these onto a pot. I found a DIY craft kit that they had put out for, um, what is this, Valentine's Day? And so you have like a wooden shape here and you glue your little sequins to it. And um, you don't necessarily need the kit because they sell the sequins separately. They also sell wooden shapes like all the time, year round you can pick them up and you can glue your little sequins onto the little wooden shapes. It's a craft you can do with your kids. Um, another item you can do with them is to glue them onto like, you know, beautiful vases, jars, little votive candle holders. Um, and I also saw um, where you can like get a wooden letter maybe, or you can even print out a letter, um, you know, to do someone's initial. You put these cute little sequins on there, you frame it, you can hang it in the room. And it just is that personal touch. You can also add these to, um, for those of you, you know, who like, if you like that whole kind of look, the whole blinged out kind of look, you can put them on your lampshades. I mean, there's so, so many things that you can do with these. And um, I've shown you guys a couple of images and I hope that that gives you some ideas of crafts that you can do with um, items that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put this video on pause. It is running long, but now we're gonna be doing the Mickey Mouse um, gift basket giveaway drawing. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, and thank you so much for your support. You can see we got quite a few in here, quite a few entries. Good luck to you guys. 
Um, I'm going to put the date here up on the screen. You'll need to respond by this date here um, if I draw your name. And um, if I don't hear from you, then we'll do another video, we'll do another drawing, and then I'll postpone the next giveaway. Um, so respond by this date. You'll need to put it down. Um, you know, you can let me know, hey, I'm the winner in the comment section, and I'm going to include my email in the description box um, so that you can send me your address, and I will get this mailed out to you as long as you respond by the time allotted. Okay, so I feel like I got a name. All right, good luck to all of you. Thank you for your support. Um, let's see. Let's see who's the lucky winner. Um, A's Art, A's, uh, hopefully, am I? Yeah, it, A's Art, congratulations to you. You are the winner of the Mickey Mouse giveaway. So A's Art, make sure that you respond by the date on the screen. If I do not hear from A's Art, then I will need to do another drawing and um, and then it'll just, like I said, it'll delay the next giveaway, which is really, really cool. Can't wait to show you that. Um, hopefully I'll hear from Azar. If not, we'll do another drawing. Um, if Azar gets in contact with me, then my next video, I'm going to show you for sure the super, super cute little gift set that I put together and it would work. I think it would double up as a Mother's Day gift if you're looking for something to give to your wonderful mom. Thank you again for joining me. I hope that um, it was entertaining. I hope that I showed you something that you're going to be on the hunt for at your local Dollar Tree, if I can get these words out. If you did have a favorite item, I hope that you will let me know in the comment section because I will read those and I will respond to you guys. Always enjoy hearing your feedback. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Um, happy Dollar Tree. Thank you. Bye guys. Love you. Hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree.